Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and I am very happy to be bringing back our Hockey Ultimate Team Collection Guide series. I know I started it last year in NHL 14, but this year I want to be a lot more dedicated to the series to show you guys how to complete most of the NHL uh, Hockey Ultimate Team Collections, telling you how much you should be spending on each of the players, on the jerseys, the logos, and both doing it in an informative and entertaining way way. So first off, I should start by saying a huge thank you to H7Hacksers. His Twitter link and YouTube channel will be in the description of this video. He actually helped me out a good bit during for this new upcoming series by updating a bunch of the graphics. So uh, when you guys will see the player layouts, you will see it in a brand new format, which will also give the player the player prices as well as all the players for each position in a much more neat and pretty cool format. Hope you guys will enjoy that. But without further ado, let's get started with our Hockey Ultimate Team Collection Guys series, starting off with the Anaheim Ducks. Now, normally I would start off with the lowest and easiest collections to do, but for this one, I think I'm going to start it in alphabetical order, but if you guys like the series as well and uh, want a specific team mentioned in there, just let me know and I could just go back and forth, swap around. But for right now, we'll start in alphabetical order until the next one and you guys give me your suggestions in the comment section down below. But first off, we'll start with Anaheim, which actually is not the easiest collection in this game to do. You are going to have to have a good amount of pucks to do so. But if you do have enough amount of pucks, once you can knock out Getzlav and Perry, this collection is pretty easy to do. So without further ado, let's get started with our Hockey Ultimate Team Collection Guide series with the Anaheim Ducks. Okay guys, so for the Anaheim Ducks collection, there are going to be, going to be 33 items which we're going to need to collect. 12 forwards, 9 defensemen, 2 goaltenders, 9 jerseys, and 1 logo. So, as you guys know, in NHL 15, the collection bonus is not going to be pucks anymore. It is going to be packs, which contain eight items, four of which being rare, and all those players are going to be untradeable. So, if you complete the entire Anaheim Ducks collection, you will get 10 of those packs. And like I said, they are untradeable, but you do get a good bit of stuff in those player packs. So, let's move on to the jerseys. Okay guys, so here are the nine jerseys for the Anaheim Ducks collection, three of which are going to be rare and six of them are going to be non-rare. There's going to be five home jerseys and four away jerseys. Now always remember when you're trying to collect these jerseys and you want to make sure not to buy the duplicate ones of these jerseys, uh, pay attention to the neck piece on the jersey. There's going to be two of the non-rare home jerseys and two of the non-rare away jerseys that do have the NHL logo at the neck and two of them do not have the NHL logo at the neck. So make sure you always want to pay attention to that. And this year in NHL 15, the jerseys actually do seem to cost a little bit more money than they usually do. Most notably, which would be the non-rare jerseys. The non-rare jer jerseys usually do cost more than the uh, than the rare jerseys for some odd reason. I'm not sure why that is, but for some odd reason they are. So once again, going back to last year, I'm going to keep that same trend in mind that you don't want to try to spend more than 500 pucks or 500 coins, I guess you could say, on any of these jerseys. Now, there will be some cases where there's going to be a limited amount of that jersey you need. So if you really want to complete the collection at that certain time, go right ahead and buy it for that certain amount of money. But for the jerseys, these are the, one of the last things that you want to collect for the guy just because you want to wait for the perfect time to buy those jerseys and you want to wait for the perfect time to buy that singular jersey that you need at a very reasonable price. So try not to spend more than 500 bucks on any of these jerseys. Pay attention to the neck piece. And if you want to buy the jersey for a large amount of coins, do it. But these are one of the last things that you should collect because you want to wait for the perfect price. All right, so now let's move on to the new look player layouts. And we'll start with the defensemen and the goaltenders. Okay, guys, so here is the new layout that Haxers has made for these NHL 15 Hut Collection Guides, which show off the top portion of the players that you will be need to looking for for each position. He has also sorted them out by the position, as well as listing the coin amount under each player that you will probably want to buy these players for. Now remember, I'll say this later on in the guide, but I'll say it right now as well. Prices are subject to change for every single one of these players. You can always find the players for greater than, less than, or equal to the values that I have listed so far in this guide. So we'll start off with the goaltenders and the two goaltenders that the Anaheim collection has is going to be Frederick Anderson and John Gibson. So Anderson you can find for about 800 pucks and John Gibson you can find for about 850. 
Now we'll move on to the defensemen here, which include Cam Fowler, Francois Beauchemin, Hampus Lindholm, Brian Allen, Clayton Stoner, Mark Fistrick, Sheldon Surrey, Ben Lovejoy, and Sammy Vatanen. So, Cam Fowler, you can get for about 800 bucks. Francois Beauchemin, 800. Hampus Lindholm, 800. Brian Allen, Stoner, Fistrick, you can get for about 550. Sheldon Surrey for about 450. Lovejoy for about 500. And Sammy Vatanen for 650. So a lot of these guys are, uh, actually it's a pretty equal amount of rare and non-rare players here. Most of the defensemen are pretty easy to find. Nobody will really go over 1K on this list and because they are relatively low overalls except for Cam Fowler who is an offensive defenseman and has pretty good skating and speed stats. So there's the defenseman, fairly cheap, and the goaltenders, fairly cheap as well. Now let's move on to the most expensive part of this collection which would be the forwards. All right, guys, so here are the forwards for the Anaheim Ducks collection. Starting with the left wingers, we have Andrew Cogliano, Jacob Silverberg, Matt Bolesky, and Patrick Maroon. Going on to the right wingers, we have Corey Perry, Emerson Needham, Kyle Palmieri, Tim Jackman, and Richard Raquel. And then at the three centers, we have Ryan Getzlav, Ryan Kessler, and Nate Thompson. So for prices, Cogliano is going to run you about 1K just because of that speed stat. Uh, Silverberg about 800, Bolesky 600, Patrick Maroon 450, Corey Perry 185k, Emerson Edom 700, Palmieri 800, Jackman 600, Getzlav about 200k, Kessler 35k, Nate Thompson 450, and Richard Raquel 450. So as you guys can see, Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlev, both 92 overalls, are definitely going to cost you the most money out of this collection. 200K and 185K, respectively. Kessler, not that bad. He is a 90 overall, but he's, uh, his price isn't actually that high at 35K. And then Cogliano and Silverberg, the only reason their prices are a little bit over 700 coins is because they are 85 overall, which means they do get that boosted uh, quick sell value. And also Cogliano, you know, because of that speed stat and that good defensive category, he's a really good player to pick up for your team anyway. So there's the offense. Definitely a very pricey offense, except uh, with Corey Perry, Getzlav, and Kessler on that team. But if you can manage to get those guys, the guide is pretty easy to do. So without all that being done, let's go over to the budget layout and see how much exactly you should be spending on this Anaheim Ducks collection. Okay guys, so here is the budget layout for the Anaheim Ducks collection. As I mentioned before, all the prices that were listed on all those players are subject to change, which means that they can either be greater than, less than, or equal to the prices which I have listed on this guide. So following my prices that I have listed in this guide, for the players you can see yourself spending around 433k on all the players, and like I said, if you spend around 500 bucks on all the jerseys, you'll be spending around 5k on the jerseys as well as the logo. So, doing a little bit of math, my price comes out to 438,150 coins for the entire Anaheim Ducks collection. So, if you want to get a rough estimated est estimated price of about how many coins you are going to, going to need to complete the entire Anaheim Ducks collection, you should have about 450k coins if you want to try to do this Anaheim Ducks collection all by yourself. So it is actually pretty pricey. It's almost about half a mil coins if you do want to do this entire collection by yourself. But it, once again, the prices do vary a good bit, especially between uh, Perry, Kessler, and Getzlav. So if you can find them, find them for cheap, you can easily flip those players for a greater profit and end up actually making money at this Anaheim Ducks collection. So there you go, guys. There is the NHL 15 Hut Collection Guide for our Anaheim Ducks. Once again, it's a pretty expensive collection to do, but if you can knock out Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlav, the collection obviously is a breeze to complete. So let me know how you guys like this new format with the new uh, the jersey layouts and the new player layouts as well. Uh, once again, big shout out to H7 Hacksers for helping me out with this. Once again, his Twitter link and YouTube channel are in the description down below. Make sure to go give him a follow and subscribe to him on YouTube. Great graphic design artist, one of the best in the NHL community. And as always, guys, remember to leave a like if you thought this guy was informative, helpful, and both entertaining for you guys. And let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to continue doing these collection guides in alphabetical order, or if you want to see a specific team to complete for me to complete leave that in the comment section down below if you guys want to see that guide as well make sure to give it a thumbs up so i can actually see that and i can tell which guy you guys really want to see next so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys next time for another nhl 15 hockey ultimate team collection guide